Hello, I'm Gopal Lahiri. I'm a bilingual poet from Kolkata. First of all, I must thank uh, Naina De for inviting me to the poetry reading session, Therapy, Poetry That Heals. So I'll be reading a few poems. And we know that in this troubled time of pandemic, uh, poetry can provide solace, can heal our wounds, our anguish, our pain. So let me start with my first poem titled Recovery. I am still alive. I cannot believe the tubes are taken away, the bandages are cut, beams of blue light shine down and robe over my eyes. Someday even the smile of the doctors also worries me. I am scared that someone may wash away in my absence the quasi-moral images drawn on the white wall, making their black script under the moonlight. Those hurried notes of goodbyes and condolences pile up all around in silence. I have folded them away beneath the scripts of death. The night is beautiful now, so the faces of everyone. The sound of applause reject those memories of grief. The night is beautiful now, so the faces of everyone. The sound of applause rejects those memories of grief. I am always tender with the mornings, filled with the tweets of tiny birds, imagining the world like Monet's water lilies. And the next one is New Epoch. Sometimes the paws of sunlight enfold the landscape in searching quivers beneath the brutal tenderness. The space we occupy dilates briefly and then disappears. The distant stars melt away the miles between us. Internet surfing continues day and night in lockdown. Doomsday scrawling murmurs like a wound. Suspended animation stretches and coffee stain puddles, blissful minutes tremor behind the screen. Death hustle down lane up narrow stairways. Bodies are frozen solid. Dark those sorrows. Hot spot are out of the strip, knocking dozens of doors. World is tumbling into a new epoch. Dream slip on the caregiver's palms of its pondering to flatten the proverbial curve. The next one title is New Normal and I. Old order changes yielding place to new. Old order is ready for departure. Masked women, men, children stand apart on the pavement. A monster virus changes our life. So far, so near the new normal. I can notice, I can notice a spot of grass riffling amid the concrete. An unknown creature is chewing on roots. Critters rustle in the bushes in light rain. I am a superhero of senses in an exile. Feel the screen, feel the love in your eyes. Listen only to your phone chirps. Late night whispers, I am numb to the outside world. I cannot touch you, I cannot smell your presence. My vision blurs, my mind dies. Here I am alive in isolation, breathing in soulless life, waiting for a new world. If I could, I would draw the smiles on wings spread. The title of the poem is dreams if i could i would draw the smiles on wings spread the evening is casting quivering shadows on the clinic wall we are all perhaps going to die the wind is still the stars pledged to be reborn only a half moon waiting for its unsuspecting prey remain suspended in mid sky what comes next is darkness, unhurried, intentional, 
covering the back street with gosamar goodbyes no one here really knows why you are here how grief and holiness refuse to flutter in the wind imagining the night birds carry breaths on their tiny tiny lips filling up lungs rewrite the death certificates if i could i would take you to the land of love and light the title of my new poem is new world in the waiting each night is mundane and lonely night birds spread their wings the moment i am looking for is buried beneath the black soil each wound i polish on the secret stone shines in false light there is nostalgia too when the lizards cry the moon goes behind the swelling clouds there is a thick silence you can lean against the city is a laconic the way it was centuries ago the broken walls scribble alleys are filled with future alphabets the broken walls scribble alleys are filled with future alphabets a certain beauty is waiting on the street a certain beauty is waiting on the street with something that cares that cultivates alchemy of anguish tonight stars are moaning overhead silent are those chanting mantras scribbling farewell on the sky the night birds carry the hidden flags everyone is griefing holding one another skies change backdrop in the sense of solidarity despite the sorrow in the midst of sorrow the light still radiates from dreaming every evening i lean out from the window join in the bells and whistles claps and clangs minutes break into seconds minutes break into seconds i take comfort in unity and cry for all of us light the earth and lamps honking horns shouts of gratitude shouts of gratitude alchemy of anguish i think something is breaking a little bit inside i think something is breaking a little bit inside and this is and this is joy of transformation a pure spontaneity and then the next poem is transition there are no stories written on the wall endless rows of beds awaiting bodies like a science fiction movie ambulances whizzed past siren blaring people with masks calling bodies names no sign of crowd no car no wind swept trash long stretches of vacant concrete every musical note even the abstract holds its silence a few lovers slink along hunch over and avert their eyes the city empties out the skyline dims the world will not be the same without those who built it there are no stories written on wall and then the the last two poems i'll read very short holy water the evening lights the lamp of redemption on the muddy river bank bathing ghats are drawn in shining colors worshipers and devotees chanting mantras to the tune of hymn and harmony holding their heads up against the smoke swirled sky the clouds and the night birds make a noting answering god's call amidst the blowing of conches the rituals and prayers continue in phases i close my eyes and feel the eerie silence inside i close my eyes and feel the eerie silence inside holy water wets my feet and god's room a cold wind blows over 
chanting mantras go around, reverberate the melody sounds medieval, I stand motionless, not knowing these calls and answers. Someone lights up the stone labs, blows the conch shell, outside the moon is full and bright, shining over the tulsi plant on the courtier, spoken voices now deep in silence. Thank you very much.